Alright, hey guys, today I'm going to be showing you how to get Windows 7 Ultimate Edition already activated x86 or x64 for free. Alright, first thing you're going to need is uTorrent. Alright, so it's the first link in the description, should say uTorrent, then uh, click on it, click free download, self-explanatory, it'll set itself up basically. It'll set up and everything. Just follow what it says. All right, next one is Image Burn. This will be the second link. Now click Mirror One. Sorry, I'm recording, so my computer's really slow right now. But um, all right, on the right hand side, you click Download Now. It'll take you to this, right? It'll take you to this, and then it'll ask you to save the file. Just set it up. Um, I already have it, so I click to cancel. Okay, now that you have image burn, you're going to need the Windows 7 torrent, and click this. Okay, now if you're in Firefox, click open with uTorrent, which is the default, I'm pretty sure. Well, that's what mine says. Then click OK. If you're in uh, Internet Explorer, just save it and just click on it, and it should open it with uTorrent. All right, now the next thing you're going to need to do is you're going to need to have a you're going to need to have a um, a blank DVD that is over 3.47 gigabytes because that's what the Windows 7 ISO is. All right, now you need to burn it. Now this is how to burn it. Um, click on Image Burn. All right, now see there's two windows that pop up. Don't close out of Image Burn log. All right, and uh, on the way, if you get any errors down here in this Image Burn log, ignore them. They, it will be fine. Okay, first thing you want to do is click right image file to disk where my mouse is. Click that. All right, now click browse for a file. Look for the Windows 7 ISO. It should be a really long name, but I renamed mine to just Windows 7 so it would be shorter. Um, all right, it should be 3.47 gigabytes. Open it now. For the destination under here where it says destination, click on your CD drive that you have the disk in. And make sure you have a CD drive that is able to burn disks. Okay, and for the under settings, write speed, change it to two times. And then once that's done, just click this little button. I don't have a disk in right now, so it can't write. Um, yeah, but that's basically what you do. And um, now, to explain the difference between x86 or x64, x86 is 32-bit, x64 is 64-bit, um, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, I, I don't know, but um, it, I'll, have a, I'll have the description in the, um, it'll be in the description, so. But to find out if you have 32-bit or 64-bit, right-click your computer, click Properties, and it should be on that window. 32-bit operating system or 64-bit. And on the Windows installer, if you have XP, you will have to boot from the CD when you turn on your computer and do a clean install since it's XP. But if you have Vista, then you can keep your all your files not recommended, but just back them up if you need them or anything, like music files or games or whatever you have. Um, you can back those up, but it's recommended to do a clean install or else it most likely might lag. Um, but if you do a clean install, it'll be really, like, not laggy at all. And I just put this on. And uh, read the description for a mini guide. And the next tutorial I'm going to be doing will be released in a few days, which will be how to get free ripped games. Just unrar them and play with WinRAR. And, um, yeah, thanks, guys. And thanks for watching my tutorial. Please comment, rate, subscribe. Thank you.